Hello relatives, welcome to this week's Schlagbite for the week August 1st, 2016, entitled Join the Clown Tribe. While I was clowning at Oregon Country Fair last week, the Hopi Indians in northern Arizona were celebrating their home dance. It's one of the holiest days in their ceremonial calendar, and they were clowning there as well. The home dance is the day that the Kachinas, who are the Great Spirit's holy messengers, return to their homes atop Mount Humphrey. Even at this most sacred celebration, there are clowns present. And what they do is they provoke even these angels with their irreverence. They will sing out of tune, dance out of step, they will parody drunkenness, they make sexual innuendos, and their antics are considered therapeutic. It was when I was working in Indian country that I learned to appreciate the clown as sacred healer, and really came to understand what the distinguished Swiss psychologist Carl Jung called the clown archetype. Archetypes are universal characters in the unconscious mind. And the clown archetype is present in every culture in human history. The clown, fool, jester, trickster, they all serve the purpose of lightening the mood, of diffusing anxiety. They help us laugh at ourselves and help us to look at the familiar from another perspective. So I appreciated clowns, but I never actually clowned publicly until I was 50 years old and met Patch Adams, perhaps the world's most recognized humanitarian clown. And uh, he was responsible for my coming out publicly and clowning, and for the last 25 years I've joined him clowning all over the world. Every year in early August, we go to Iquitos, Peru, with a hundred clowns from around the world. We've been coming here for the last decade to the distressed neighborhood of Belen to energize its citizens' dreams for a healthier life. We conduct workshops for children, paint murals, conduct public health outreach, and do mental health clinics in the streets. We parade, we perform street theater, we visit hospitals and prisons and shelters and hospices, and we leave behind a core group of clowns who continue to work with local organizations in the community. I love this work. I love getting out of my head and into my inner child's spontaneity. And I love being with other clowns. We remind each other of what we like best about ourselves, our ability to connect with people from any walk of life and any culture at a heartfelt, soulful level. Sometimes people ask me what tribe I belong to, and I say I'm a member of the clown tribe. I am one with clowns all over the world who connect with people at the heart level because it reminds us of our shared humanity. Join the clown tribe. It'll make you feel better, especially in these hard, divisive times. Lighten up. Find a way to come to every day with joy, the greatest act of revolution in contemporary American life. Enjoy the week. Have a good time. Remember, we're all connected. I say this for all my relations. Mitakwiasi. <laughs>